Previously on Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. This girl, she's perfect. She's exactly my type. I wonder if she would model for me. Ordered one drop portrait of her. God, I wish I would stop making that expression. It looks so weird. And now back to staring at people. Hello! This is Sneako B. Back with some more Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. We last left off, we started off the final case and went off to a fucking bang off start with that freaking old lady being stabbed by Amy Faye's big old branchy sword and fucking Dahlia clone or just Dahlia with her hair dyed, I don't really know. Fucking bridge catching on fire and Phoenix falling to his death. <laughs> Yet the game still seems to be going for some reason. I wonder why that is. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I it sort of just hit me afterwards. So I was like, oh, that's probably why Phoenix is in the hospital, right? It's because he because of uh, when he fell down the into the uh, off the bridge, right? So that's probably why he's, he's probably going to be in the hospital here at the beginning of this. I'm imagining, but um, yes, I don't really know what's going on. I don't know if that's really Dahlia or if that's just like some another twin sister who's probably evil too. But uh, let's let's find out. Let's do it. Oh, date unknown, time unknown, location also unknown. Ring, 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 answer me, asshole. Who could that be this time of night? Peep. Oh, oh, that was me, Edgeworth, sorry. I sound like, my thoughts sound like Phoenix for a second. Yes, Edgeworth speaking. Edgeworth, ace, ace prosecutor speaking. Edge, you get up there, it's emergency. Nick is dead, dude. He's fucking dead. <laughs> I don't care. Bye. <laughs> Larry, how the fuck did you get this number? Damn it. My restraint doesn't my restra restraining order mean nothing to you. Oh, Larry, do you know what time it is? It's not Larry, dude. It's Larry. It's Larry's dead. Oh, you guys know my parents that's pronounced do Donum? Dunum? Lois Dunum? Donum? Some of you guys said it was Donum. Some of you said Dunum. Some of you said Diggity Booty Boogity 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 <laughs> It's nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over and... <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I'm gonna... Larry, I'll kill you tomorrow, all right? Right now, I gotta go to sleep. Wait, don't hang up the bridge, please. It's Nicky. He took a really nasty spill. He's fucking dead, dude. Well, it wouldn't be the first time, so... I'm not joking. His life's in danger. What? What, what happened? My lover, Phoenix? What happened? Tell me now. Tell Edgeworth. Talk about guy with bad luck. He may already be dead, dude. Anyway, you gotta come back. You're the only one that can help. You're my only hope, Edgeworth! Fires, we need a fire, she needs help! Alright, I don't I don't I don't know the fuck that bitch is, but she sounds evil to me. I don't know what's going on, but I'll be there as soon as I can. Let me just grab my let me grab my next scarf and I'll be there in a jiffy. Come in the attention, please! Please hurry up again! It's been one year since I left that country. I thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Oh, he's still out of the country? Oh my what? Uh, I'm sorry, Larry. I, I'm I'm currently like on the other side of the fucking globe right now. Sounds like it wouldn't be wouldn't be a pretty reunion as if any, I expect anything uh, anything to change. Who the fuck cares? All right, eight, uh, two nineteen p.m. Just ten percent of visitors. Bro, you're late. I don't want to hear it. I just want a private jet to come here as quickly as I can. A fucking private jet. Of course you would. That's right, because I'm fucking Edgeworth. I get what I want. Hey, look, it's that. It's my favorite security guard who doesn't breathe or say anything. I should have tried a fast one, dude. Anyway, just listen. It's like happy to miss Miss Lace and Nickus. Maya and our bikini. Huh? Say it's like I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You didn't tell me anything. Before I came here, I stopped in at the hospital where Wright is. I believe I have a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. <laughs> You're useless to me. Be gone. <laughs> uh, okay. The murder victim was the was the picture book author Miss Elise Dunham. Dunham. Dun Dun Dooley. She was found by Wright in the head nun. The suspect is the temple's younger nun. And then later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, it broke and he fell into the river. The hospital says that he'll need at least two days of bed rest. Yes, uh, that's right, dude. God, I hate the fucking expression so much. It just looks so weird. I don't know. Something about it just sort of like really rubs me the wrong way. Like, just look like, just looks like you could be like a fucking horror monster or something with that face. Like, imagine you woke up in the middle of the night and that was the face you saw hovering over you, like ah! his head spinning in circles. That's right, you got it. My three wrestler. My sweet little Iris. 
Here I was convinced he was the one and the police had arrested. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I was about to, I was just gonna come here and gloat. However, I still don't understand what these these two items are for. What you talking about, Larry? What you talking about, Edgy? The things Wright gave gave to me when I was leaving his room. Oh, <laughs> no way! My playing is Edward now. <laughs> He's like, Edward, Edward, I I I give you this. The fuck is this? It's gonna give you superpowers. Oh, fuck that! I've already got super Edward powers. Like I need your bullshit, Phoenix. Ah. Now, Edgeworth away! And he just jumps out the window, flies away. Damn it! This guy's so fucking cool. This is the first. He says some nonsense about being able to see into people's hearts with this bullshit. And the other. He can't. He couldn't possibly be asking what I think he is, could he? The cro He gave me a cronut, but it's really stale. I beg you, Iris is trial source. Oh my god, am I defending her? I'm defending her as Edgeworth? Put that guy's picture! You're all on uh, Oh, great. <laughs> hey, we're all getting. Looks like we're getting a kickstart into Edworth investigations after all. Ah, 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 ah. You're the, you're the only one who can represent her, dude! What? Wait, what did you just say? You know, represent, defend! What are you expecting? I'm a fucking prosecutor, you ass! Why do you think I called you anyway? I'm a prosecutor, Larry. I'm a prosecutor. Do you know what that means? No, of course I don't, dude. I'm Larry! Do you, uh, do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who... Don't talk to me like Hannah Grant from Junior High, you know? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry about it. I promise it won't tell. But, but, I, ooh, I, ee, ooh, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, uh, uh, bing, bang, walla, walla, bing, bang. I mean, I heard a paper batch and no problem fooling an entire court before. How can this country's judicial system have fallen into such decay? What the hell have I been doing? Wasting my hours and fucking Perry. Making out with a bunch of sexy French chicks. Please, Edgy. Hey, ladies, listener! Listen, I was just telling the story! So Ryan wasn't joking when he gave me this badge after all. Apparently that's all it takes is the badge to, to become a defense law lawyer. Not any kind of training or anything. Thank you for coming, my name is Iris. Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth. I'm the only guy here hot enough to fuck you. You're right, let's do it right now. We'll do it through the glass somehow. Okay, I'm going in there. Ah! That, guard, that security guard in the back won't do shit, don't worry. I don't know if I can be of any help, but I will at least hear what you have to say about the murder. Um, mm, Mr. Wright, how is he? Yeah, <laughs> so much for protecting him with your stupid bullshit uh, nun cap thing. This will protect you from the evil spirits. <laughs> but five minutes later, he's falling off a burning bridge. Damn it, you lied to me, Iris. Ah, blah, crack. Mr. Lee said that that he might, even might die. Fortunately, he'll be fine. Larry, you fucking moron. How can you say something like that? God damn it. Uh, Edward's gotta come in and clean up your bullshit. He was badly bruised when he hit the water, but otherwise he is unharmed. Th oh, thank goodness. But he's caught some kind of nasty cold. A cold? He's running a high fever and he's drifting in and out of consciousness. He's having flashbacks of Mia Faye in her boobs. I must be imagining things. This woman. I feel like I've met her before. Mmm. I've met you. Except you had red hair and you're more, even more evil. Oh, that's right, because of course he was there for uh, that previous case with Mia, where she actually got away with it. You dirty whore, what are you doing out of jail? Ah! Edgeworth mad! Edgeworth smash! Oh no, oh, no way! He's got Edgeworth in the background there. Yeah, baby! Uh, received from Wright. He wasn't serious when he gave this to me, was he? What the fuck? Like, I'm gonna do shit. See from Wright, something about reading people's hearts. What utter nonsense. Interesting. This is, I wasn't expecting this at all. So it is, it's sort of like a jump into Edgeworth Investigations, I guess. Although I think in Edgeworth Investigations, you actually are playing as a prosecutor, not as a defense lawyer. Like in, this seems to be. Pardon me, Iris. I'd like to ask you something, if you don't mind. I have a distinct feeling you and I have met before. It must be your imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. After all, I hardly ever leave Hasakura Temple. Hasakura Temple? What the fuck is that? The fuck you talking about, bitch? It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual power come to train. You need to undergo some very difficult training to release your inner spiritual power. Spiritual power? What bullshit? 
Did you go to that temple t for that reason as well? No, I don't have any spiritual powers. I don't need them. I'm a I've already got evil demon powers. In that case, what are you what are you doing in the temple then? Is she really not gonna end up being the killer then? Like I'm like, I was really expecting she's like, okay, it's gonna be her. Am I actually gonna defend her? I I've committed some sins since I need to pay for it. That's why I'm here and why I continue to train to purify my soul. I knew it. You're the one that made Gatto crush his coffee cup. That was his favorite cup, you bitch. I want to ask you about last night, the night of the, night of the crime. All right, I I helped to clean up after dinner and then went back to my room at about eight, eight o'clock. Later, I, I left my room to ring the lights lights out bell at 10. Bell? We ring it at the same time each night. I see, and then? And then? Uh, uh. I was told to go to the training hall, but I went back to my room and stayed there. Why didn't you go to the training hall like you were asked to? I, I was frightened. Frightened? So I just stayed in my room and meditated until the murder happened. There's more to her story, I just know there is. I should dig a little deeper. Deeper! Deeper to deep! You were, you were asked to go to the training hall on the night of the murder. Yes. However, you didn't go. Because you say you were frightened. What exactly were you frightened of? Ah! Uh, what the hell? My, my Edgeworth powers are tingling! Ah! Hey, what in the ball sack? Whoa! Oh my god, I can see into your fucking soul! <laughs> Would've been nice if, if Phoenix gave me some an instruction manual on this fucking thing. But it only has two this time. Cause I guess because it's a different quest. The other one was like, you recognize me, don't you? And that had like five fucking locks. Interesting. Okay. She's got a lot of hidden secrets here. Oh, is there something is there something wrong? I'm sorry, it's nothing. Looks like she's not aware of them herself. Do you see the two big floating locks there? No, nope, just me. Okay. This must be what Bright was talking about. The psyche is oh, oh, the psycho locks. <laughs> Psych. I knew it. Psycho locks. <laughs> it only works for crazy psychos. I believe he said that I need to present this Magatama item to do something. <laughs> oh god, now he said now she sounds like eeny miny. Eeny meeny miny noodle. So do you have any ideas to what really occurred last night? was the result of the tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. Spiritual power? Yes, spiritual training. Spiritual training has been a cause behind many great tragedies. This incident was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but that's fucking horseshit. I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual power, even though I do appear to have superpowers at the moment. Yes, I understand. Most people don't. And I'm certain that the, the thing that killed the victim was a human. So please answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Elise Donum? Do Dunum? No. I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm. Those psycho- I <laughs> the psycho lock. Those psycho lock things aren't appearing. I suppose that means I can believe that she's not lying. <laughs> I got aboard the superpower tram pretty fast. Heh. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't believe what I'm thinking. And here I just finished saying that I don't believe in spiritual power. Hmm. It appears that about that's about all that you can tell me. Thank you very much for listening to my story. I visited right the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. So we're gonna make babies. Me? Yes, yeah, so the trial tomorrow, he asked me to defend you. If Mr. Wright has so much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth, then I will gladly entrust my fate in your capable hands. But before that, I have one more I have one question. Yes? Do you know right? Uh, why would you ask that? Whenever you came up in our conversation, he would begin to act a little strange. He was even hornier than usual. Mr. Edgeworth, are you his friend? Friend? Well, nah. In a sense, yes. We're, we're sort of, we sort of have this love-hate relationship. Occasionally, we, we really hate each other. Other times, we are gay lovers. It was five years ago. That's when I, that's when I deceived him. You, you deceived him? I heard that he was in a lot of pain after what happened. I know what a weak person I am. I just realized a little, little box down there also has Edgeworth's face. Ha! Ah, it's me! Now it's Edgeworth pointing in the other direction! Huh. So, well, five years ago she deceived him. I mean, that's, that's referring to the case from... So, it's gotta be her then, right? 
But how did she get out of jail? I don't understand. That's why. That's why I thought it was best if he never saw me again. I want him just to forget about me without learning the truth. Well, if you ask me, Ryan is still suffering. Until he learns the truth, I don't think he'll ever be able to truly recover. Iris, it's not too late. You should go to him. Tell him the truth. I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. All right, Mr. Edgeworth. I promise. Very well, I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. Or you could just tell me what it is, and then I can go tell him about it, or uh, whatever. <laughs> That's enough information gathering for now. I should head to the crime scene. Edgeworth, away! To the Edgeworth mobile! No, 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 no. <laughs> oh yeah, it's really gonna stop someone from crossing every two wooden planks means no. February eighth, Dusky Branch. Sure is cold, all right. Sure is cold, all right. My balls are going inside me. So this is it, Dusky Bridge. Not very dusty to me. Uh, oh, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, ah, Mr. Edgeworth. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, Jesus Christ, Detective Gumshoe. Oh, uh, well, great, Gumshoe. A piece of me died inside. Hope you're happy. To see you again. Long time no see. It's been about a year. Or has been longer. I miss you so much. I think about you every day. Really? Because I don't think about you at all. I've done my best to forget all about you. It doesn't matter, Detective. Why does it matter? What does matter is you're here shuffling up. Is you, is why you're here shuffling around up here. Oh, out. And th there was a sharp left jab. Well, I'm happy to see you. And anyway, Mr. Edward. <laughs> You're my favorite person. You're my old, my old real, real friend. Shut up and go get me some coffee. <laughs> yes, sir. Let me guess. You were transferred into another section at work. A good choice. A vast amount of nothing up here must be quite easy to guard. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, he's he's still such an asshole to, to Gumshoe. <laughs> wow. Way to go, Gumshoe. <laughs> I bet it's really hard protecting all this nothing up here. I heard you were back in the country, and our range come up all the way out here. All the way out here. Everybody was real nice. They even let me take charge of the investigation, sir. Gumshoe indeed, like gum on your shoe. He's impossible to get rid of. Fuck. Well, there is a cliff over there. Hey, Gumshoe, mind examining over there? Sure, what is it? Ah! Oh, thank God. Now I can finally have some peace and quiet. I'm supposed to report in the details of the crime scene, sir. Anyway, here I am. Gumshoe, recording for duty. Great! Um, thank you, detective. Ah, uh, here we go again. The prosecutor Gatto was gonna get here for me. That guy's a real mystery, I tell you. Prosecutor Gatto, the fuck is that? Who the hell is that bitch? I just got back into the country, so I don't really know much about the, the case. It's simple. Well, simple as the simple does, they say. Oh, you got no idea how much I miss that fighting sarcasm here, sir. Ah, ah, ah. Shut the fuck up, Gumshoe. Yes, yeah, sir. But seriously, this one's a piece of cake. There's a witness to it. That's all the whole thing. A witness? Yeah, that bikini lady. That little round ball. <laughs> bikini, bikini lady here on this freezing cold mountain? Jesus Christ. I bet her nips are as hard as diamonds. Well, you should talk to her yourself if you want the details, sir. I may have talked to this bikini lady. I mean, decisive witness myself. Wow, this is probably gonna be the longest I've ever had to do with the Edgeworth voice in a single episode. <laughs> so this is the bridge that Wright fell through. Yep, I can't imagine be being that reckless myself. Look before you cross. It's how it goes, right? Or was it that leap? Ah, I, I don't know. And, and, is there something on the other side? Something I should give a fucking shit about? Yeah, some old building they call the Inner Temple. But we can't get over there without a bridge, sir. Whatever, to the <laughs> to, to the Edgeworth Copter! What? Nobody lives there, so it's usually not a problem. But uh, someone's at the Inner Temple doing some training and now they're stuck there. Oh no, my's still stuck over there. Yes, I heard that from right. It's my fae. <laughs> God damn it, Maya! Can you ever I you can't go one fucking game without getting fucking kidnapped, going to jail, getting fucking stuck on the other side of a burning bridge. Oh, uh, uh, oh no, her again. <laughs> I know, right? What the fuck is wrong with this this chick? Anyway, the air is really turbulent right now, so we can't do an aerial extraction. No one's gonna, gonna be able to race the inner temple until tomorrow, sir. Okay, well at least they have a reason for not being able to go, just fly over there. 
We should be all right in this cold. So how, does this so how did this bridge burn down anyway? We're almost 100% sure it was lightning. Lightning? <laughs> Preposterous! That's fucking bullshit. So who the fuck is this prosecutor Gatto? I've never heard of him. He's not nearly as famous as as awesome as I am. Yeah, he's a new guy. Showed up after you left the country. He's got Cyclops powers! He's a complete rookie, but nobody can say a bad word about the guy, because they're too terrified of him. What kind of man is he? He just became a prosecutor recently, but he's good, sir. Real good. He's so good, how is that I've never heard of him? Is he the lead prosecutor on this case? You bet he, you bet he is, after all, you know who is right in the middle of it. You know who? Phoenix Wright, of course. For some reason, Gatto has really got it, got it in for Mr. Wright. <laughs> oh? I thought I was the only one who did. Who did. Yeah, he seems to have some kind of grudge. Welcome, welcome to the party. And what would the and what would the cause this gru, be the cause of this grudge? I don't know. Maybe he made fun of his mask or something. Nah, nah. None, none of this is making any sense. I better go look into this. Gato myself. I'm gonna go hunt him down. We'll see how he stems. We'll see how his Gato powers down to my Edgeworth powers. He's shooting lasers, Edgeworth is just making ed weird Edgeworth noises. Ha 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 <laughs> You're telling me the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning. Yep, last night it snowed for the first time in three days. It's a little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowfall like that. But according to the weather data, lightning definitely struck. Bullshit! Hmm, I see, this is a very detailed weather report. Almost, almost too detailed. It even has the exact time when that li the lightning struck the bridge. Oh, that? We got that information from the witness's testimony. Someone actually saw the lightning hit the bridge. Who is this witness? Sorry, I'll go ask one of the cops la local cops later, sir. Uh. God, you are fucking useless, Gumshoe. Uh, fuck this. I'm, uh... Wait, should I present anything to you? Oh, I'm gonna present this to him, just in case. Huh? What's that thing doing on your lapel, Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> hey, look, it's my Krona badge. I'm gonna make this my thing now. Ha! Ah, I'm stealing. I'm stealing your game, Phoenix. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha! Is it really that odd? You bet it is, sir. Prosecutor wearing a defense attorney's badge. That's like a detective wearing a with a license to kill. Does this little does this little thing hold that ominous of a meaning? <laughs> it's making me hungry for cronuts. Look, I'm just your everyday simple detective. Don't ask me such tough questions, okay? But you literally just gave me this weather report and I'm just asking you about it. I don't know anything about this. What is this? God, now I remember why I left the country. Fuck you, fuck this country, fuck this place. Fuck, J fuck you, Japanifornia. That's the thing to be proud of, detective. My friend, my friend since, oh, he's 26, okay. My friend since grade school fell from Dusky Bridge and is currently hospitalized, but I don't care. I was a detective at the local precinct, charged with the initial investigation. God dang it. Also, my friends is grade school. I don't remember how we became friends. <laughs> Why am I friends with this weirdo anyway? To the main gate. Hello. Oh, sweet. I see a jet ski. Is that mine? February 8th, Hatsukura Temple, main gate. Yo, I do not take so long, dude. Oh my god, I've been waiting here to freeze my testicles. I'm so calm, I'm Razor and Sherbert. I knew it was a mistake to race back to this country. <laughs> what do you mean, dude? Ryan is, Ryan is gonna be fine. The case is, itself isn't anything unusual. And I find myself taking a request to defend a woman accused of murder. Hey, wait a second. H hold it, objection! <laughs> hold it! What's going on here, Mr. Atwork? Um, it's hard to explain, but one thing led to another, and... What kind of lex use is that? And you call yourself a defense attorney? <laughs> prosecutor Edward is a prosecutor! That's why he's Prosecutor Edward, you stupid dick dog! Prosecutor Edward, defense attorney just sounds plain old weird, pal! All right, Prosecutor Edward. I'm not sure what role I'm supposed to be playing here anymore. God dang it. I think I'm just here to, to, to fill all the fangirls' dirty dreams. After this, I'm gonna go make out with Phoenix and fulfill Maya's yaoi fantasies. Oh, dude, Edgy. How to see you for a couple of years and your heart turns to Sherbert, dude. Stop using that fucking metaphor. I like, I am I say more like sorbet. It's rather cold here. Harris didn't murder her, someone else did, dude. And I'm not saying that just because my piece is telling me it. You know what to do her, dude? I just don't, okay? I trust me, this place. I have, I think we all know I have the best fucking reason of anybody in this game. 
Ever the romantic, aren't you, Larry? Nevertheless, I'll do whatever I can to prove her innocence. At least until I pass the baton on to the right, that is. Ah, oh, god dang it, Larry. Tell me about this dirty whore. I gotta tell you, I'm so cute. Prodigy, you think so too, don't you? Well, uh, I like how Edworth is just like, he's like not phased by this shit. Like, he's not gonna let like a pretty girl get in his mind and like, what's wrong? Why are you so quiet? To put it simply, your comment has me highly concerned. Could it be that the reason you think she's innocent? <laughs> yeah, see, I love, this is why I love Edgeworth. He's like, he doesn't let his emotions, like, you know, he's like, some hot, uh, some cute girl or something. He's not gonna be like, oh, googly, oogly, oogly, I'm ogling all over you or something. He's just like, <laughs> you're a fucking murderer, aren't you? <laughs> aren't you? I know you are. You may have the boobs, but I have the brains. Come on, girl, that cute came out to me, murderer. I was right after all. I should never have come back. Fuck this place. I hate, I fucking hate you, Larry. By the way, there's something at the edge of that cliff over there. Really? Ah! Oh, God. You know what? I think I'm really getting addicted to murdering people. I'm gonna go smother Phoenix on my way back. No, no, don't worry. I see things for how they are, really, this time. Honest. If I had a penny for every time he said that, well, I, I'd be, well, actually, I'm already kind of rich. Ah. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna make my weird face. Ah, gee, gads, what the fuck is that expression, Larry? Huh? I decided to get a new expression while you get more your way. What do you think? It's fucking terrifying. What in the hell is wrong with your mouth? I know, dude, look at it. It is, <laughs> it is like a fucking mustache on my face. And now I'm looking up at the sky. I don't, it's just, it's just something so fucking weird about it. I can't get over it. Was your head always able to spin in circles like that? Of course, dude, it happens all the time. It's just that, well, I'm just a delicate flower. You can't force things too much, you know? Know what I mean? Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about, Larry. As usual. Oh, oh forget it. I didn't say anything, dude. Uh, Larry, where, where were you and what were you doing on the night of the crime? You did it, didn't you? Larry? What? Don't tell me! You think I might have done it? Of course I do! What? what, what? Kid Lost, come back on your charter Jane, get out of my side, you creep! I haven't played Crash as you die! Oh, I haven't played for Wow! I'll just ask one more fucking time before I break your neck. On the night of the murder, where were you and what were you doing? Oh, son of a bitch, Larry. Now I'm gonna have to break your fucking neck. I mean, locks. As I expected, a psycho lock! Sorry, man, you know me, I just don't remember. My short term memory is wrecked, dude. God, can you ever just tell the truth for once in your life? Nope! I gotta be pain in the balls, dude! To the main hall! Is that a big bowl of rice in the bottom there? Remember, eight? Oscar Temple, main hall! Hello there, Monami. I mean, uh, funny ball lady. Uh. Hello? Hey, hello there. Um, so how are you feeling? All right, I suppose. Oh, who is this? Uh, my name is Miles Edgeworth, super awesome prosecutor and sexy all-around guy. My, 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 handsome boys at your service was always welcome. You want to get giggity in the back? Um, no, thank you. If circumstances weren't so tragic, I just might slap your ass. Please don't call me boy. <laughs> Sorry to trouble you, but I'm looking for a woman in a bikini. <laughs> well, you have, you have found her. Now what can I do for you? <laughs> uh, are you hiding it under there or something? I'm sorry, but I, I don't see any bikinis. Oh, uh -huh, if you ask lightly, I might give you a peek, big boy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. What kind of horrible place is this? Uh, Mr. Edworth? This is the head nun, Sister Bikini. She's the witness. Of course she is. Why didn't you tell me that earlier, Gumshoe? God damn it. This is exactly why your salary keeps on getting cut. <laughs> I love Edworth and Gumshoe's dynamic. Ah, ah, my stomach is already growling in protest. Why did, why did I have to come back? I was making a whole two dollars an hour until you came back. So, um, what's the latest about my beloved Iris? Well, first, I want to hear what you know. First, I'd like to ask you about the last night. Well, last night, we had an acolyte here for training. After dinner, the two of us went to the training hall in the Inner Temple. She must be talking about Maya, a little weird, googly-eyed girl. 
Broxley, what time was that? I suppose it was around 9 o'clock when he left there. Training lasts all night long. It's extremely exhausting. The channeling dojo's head now must be in attendance at all times to keep watch. Wow, well, you're right. That does sound exhausting. Detective, this is no time for flattery. Shut up. Let me do this. Talk. Sorry. Ah, sorry, Mr. Howard. Please forgive me. Forgive me, senpai. Sometime around 11 o'clock, you witnessed the incident in the courtyard, but your duty was in the inner temple. Why did you come back here? Mm, the way you're staring at me, I'm starting to get goosebumps. Oh, ooh, I'm feeling a little frisky. Please don't tell me that. Oh, God, I'm starting to get goosebumps myself. But for a decidedly different reason. Oh god, it's like, I'm having horrible flashbacks. Oh no! No, old bag! No! I don't want to use the cocoa butter! No! Oh, you get chills pretty easily, don't you, Mr. Edworth? I'm gonna kill you when this is over. Alright then, I'd like to tell- I'd like you to tell me exactly what you saw in the courtyard. It must have been past 11 o'clock. Oh no! I can't say! It's too, too much for my poor heart! Hey, calm, calm down, lady. Calm down! Let, let go of my tie! Ah, get her on me, Mr. Edward! Help me! Ah. Oh! I saw two people, one of them was lying in the ground. Oh my god! And there's fucking Dahlia murdering the shit out of her. Boom! I fucking knew it. I fucking knew that dirty boy was evil. The other one was stabbing her from the back with a sword! Wow, okay, that was, uh, wow. I wasn't expecting a picture that literally shows Dahlia murdering this chick. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? I I'm fucking crazy, don't you know? Mm, butterflies catch on fire. Do you see this criminal with your own eyes? I didn't want to believe what I was seeing, but it was Iris. I fucking knew it. Oh, well, okay, I'm screwed. I just prosecuted this chick instead. You must have been quite shocked. Of course she was, trying to put yourself in her try putting yourself in your shoes. It'd be like it'd be like if you were stabbing Mr. Wright right smack in the middle of a courtroom. I do that all the time. With my penis! <coughs> and I happen to witness it from the witness stand. I'd be pretty shocked too. I knew it sounds insane, but that's what I saw. And when I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed! And then I passed out like, Unfortunately for us, her testimony seems pretty solid. However, the idea of Iris doing such a foul act seems unnatural. Could it be that this this chick isn't the same as Iris then? And then Dahlia, what did Dahlia break out of jail and pretend to be? I don't. This doesn't make any sense to me at all. Then Dahlia, what? Dahlia broke out of jail, pretending to be the chick that looks just like her. And, and she's got to look. If, if she looks exactly, if this is a different person, looks exactly like her, she's got to be like a twin sister, right? But wouldn't we? They have mentioned that if we were talking about the case before, we have. Because we had one Hawthorne sister. Probably would mention there's another Hawthorne th sister that she has that lives in the mountains near the bridge where she got jumped off, you know? You think? Unless it was like a twin sister that nobody knows about. Unnatural. The girl I know simply isn't capable of this sort of foulness. I wonder what she means by that. As that nun, it's your duty to stay with the acolyte at all times, correct? Yes, that's correct. I know I may look strong, but the truth is, I've got a bad lower back, and I'm just kind of a big ball. <laughs> a bad lower back? Yes, it's especially bad in the winter, so bad that I can't even lift a bucket. Do you remember how cold it was last night? My bad back for the sit of his frozen glass. I just wanted to take a nice hot bath to ease my aching back. That's why I returned to the main hall. So you left the disciple all alone. Don't be ridiculous, I would never do that. And that's why I would drive us to the inner temple after... If she had run the bell for lights out. Yes, but she never went to the inner temple, did she? Do this head not even see, Iris? I think I better try to get some more details. So who is this acolyte that was to train uh, that was to train at the inner temple? Her name is Maya Fey. I treated her very badly, I'm ashamed to say. And after she went through the trouble of signing up for the special course. Special course? It's a training session where you sit on a block of spear ties and gen 30,000 dimes. What? What? What the fuck? You don't mean to tell me she's doing, still doing that over at the inner temple, do you? No, 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 no! Of course not. You don't have to worry about that one little bit. But last night she we still hadn't started the training session itself. Well, um, uh, that's good to hear, I guess. Oh, do you too? There's one thing I forgot to tell you. Uh, uh, uh oh, Scadios! I don't think I like the sound of this. 
Do you know that small girl? I believe she's Mystic Maya's little sister. Uh, Maya's little sister? Well, I've been gone for a while. <laughs> oh yes, the little the the little nugget with the really round head. Oh, you mean little Pearl? That's my my face cousin. Yeah, where did she go? She like disappeared, right? Little Pearl. I thought she was going to visit my Miss Elise after cleaning her dinner, but I haven't seen her all since last night. Uh oh. She's nowhere to be found. Damn it, Pearl! Did you murder somebody? You mean she? She was with the victim. It's all the fault of my stupid drinky old back. A little girl who was with the victim on the night of the murder is gone. As they say, the plot thickens. Nobody says that except you, Gumshoe. Shut up! Don't you dare say another word. Or I will cut your fucking salary again. No, I don't have any money left. Okay. Oh, let's go to the courtyard here. Ooh, this is a big bloody spot. So this is, is this the same Amy Faye statue that was in the other place? Did it get moved up here? I thought it was just gonna stay at the museum. Uh, February 8th, Oscar Temple, courtyard. And this is where the murder took place, sir. Yes, I can tell from the big gaping blood spot over there. Other than removing the body, we left everything else untouched. Thanks, detective, I'll just have a look around. Looks like the po police are still investigating. Oh yeah, by the way, I thought I better ask just to be sure. Are you really going to defend that nun, Iris, at the trial tomorrow? Yes, I will. I gave her my word, and now I must follow through with my commitments. Well, in that case, I gotta be careful. Gotta make sure I don't look like the prosecution's whole investigation. Don't worry about it, detective. You're too stupid to do that. Oh, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Mr. Atworth. <laughs> Just keep your mouth closed, and I think and I think most of it will flow out on its own. <laughs> Roger, sir. I know exactly what you're saying. Ah! Very well, detective. Maybe you should start now. <laughs> Thankfully, his diary of, a, of the mouth is permanent. <laughs> ah, ah. The victim is the famous picture book author, Miss Lee Stonem. Dunham. Her entire past, up till now, up till she wrote that writing or at last year is a total mystery. It's hard to believe in this day and age you can still find people like that. The estimated time of death of the victim was between 10 o'clock and 11 p.m. on February 7th. The cause of death was a blood loss from resulting from a stab wound to the back by the murder weapon. The murder weapon? The victim was found skewered with a giant sword, sir. How the fuck did Dahlia pick that shit up and stab her with it? <laughs> Dahlia's been working out and I think Dahlia, yeah, she's been working out while she's been in jail. It's like there's nothing else to do there. Hmm. And everyone's so fucking terrified of me. That's terrible, damn. <laughs> yeah, but there's one strange thing. Yes? The victim's entire body was covered with bruises. Bruises are consistent with falling from the height of a two-story building. Damn, did Dahlia beat the fuck out of her before she stabbed her? A two-story building? That would be about the same height as the room in front of us, in front of us, correct? Hey, you're right. Way to go, Mr. Edward. Oh, you're the best. That's why I love you. That just happens to be the, the room that at least Donald was staying in. Maybe she was pushed out of the window after she was stabbed by the sword? Hmm. Now the detective, let's see, let's see if we can summarize what we've learned so far. Okay, let's take a look at the map. According to, according to the testimony of Sister Bikini, that the head nun, she and Maya Faye headed to the inner temple ran after dinner was, was finished. Oh my god, you're so fast! Come back! Come back! Oh my, you're really fast, you're really fast for a little chubby lady. At 10 p.m. after ringing the bells up, Bells for lights hour. Iris went to the inner temple. La la la, being evil. La la la, gonna kill things. La la la. When she got there, Bikini had her, had her take over while she went back to Hazakar Temple. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine Gumshoe holding like little dots with his finger, like oh, moving him across the path. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Gumshoe, you really don't have to act it out for me. No, no, watch this. Uh, uh, around the corner. Ah. Uh! Oh no, and then Pac-Man showed up and he started eating the nuts. We're like, oh no! <laughs> After taking a hot bath to seize her back. Sister Bikini witnessed the murder in the courtyard. If you want more details, you should ask it. And Bikini herself in the main hall. Here, the inner temple, huh? I'd like some more information about that place. The trial begins tomorrow, but who's the prosecutor? I'm ah, pretty sure it's gonna be that Gatto guy, but nobody can get a hold of him, so they're looking for for a replacement. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> oh sweet, does that mean I'm gonna fight Max Payne? Because that would be hilarious. 
Oh my god, I've always hated that his stupid, smug little Moshirige face. Oh god, I gotta fight Android now! Son of a bitch! <laughs> what do you mean? It's really weird. All of a sudden, no one can reach him. <laughs> huh. Oh, what? Oh, hmm. I wonder if the rumors are true. Maybe since Mr. Rat caught a cold and won't be defending, he just lost it. Or <laughs> maybe so, yeah. When I'm fighting against some edge, some loser named Edgeworth, fuck that shit. I don't give a fuck about him. All I care about is murdering right. That's the only thing I fucking even care about. I tend to appear in court in the role of a defense lawyer. However, I would be quite unhappy if it came out that I'm actually a prosecutor. Yeah, I see why, but I'm not the one you have to worry about. <laughs> I think the real problem is gonna be that judge. <laughs> Hi there! I remember you used to do things! Didn't you used to stand on the other side of the room? <laughs> um, no? Oh, okay, well, that's all that. Anyway, we're out of the room. Yes, he certainly would remember my face, even after such a long absence. That's why I requested another judge preside over the case. Oh, oh my god! Can evil, evil Canadian judge, probably. We've only met each other once. There's a good chance he won't remember me at all. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, but what about the prosecutor? Everyone in the prosecutor's office knows, must know you. Wouldn't it be a problem if someone there made a big stink, sir? There's no need to worry. I pulled a few strings and arranged for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Wow, Mr. Edward. I know I need you such a powerful, powerful string to pull. Wow. Who would it be then? Would it be Von Karma again? Is Von Karma to come back? That would be interesting. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. That's the only thing I could I could imagine doing it and not being and not like revealing the secret, you know, because they're friends. I, I I guess. Hmm. And I can't imagine. Be, I mean, if there were Max Payne, I mean, what do you? I don't know if he, maybe he's afraid. Maybe he'd be too afraid of, of Edgeworth to spill the beans. <laughs> oh God! Please don't hurt me. <laughs> what is this inner temple that Maya was supposedly training at? According to McKinney, it's an old building they use for the training train the acolytes. It's on the other side of the dusky of dusky bridge. The bridge that burned down, huh? Is there anything else on the other side of that bridge besides the inner temple? Nope, not a thing. Nothing. The inner side is surrounded by cliffs on all sides. In a way, it's kind of like a little island out there. So the only thing there, there is the inner temple. There's not the kind of place a person could survive in. Oh God, please be all right, Maya. I spent way too much money saving you with the last game with that fucking SWAT team of mine. Ah, uh, how can you ever just go one game without shit happening to you? I know, but silly nugget. Oh, look at this. Ah, I just love skiing. Really? You don't um seem like the type. Well, what about the sleds? Sleds? Nah, they're a little too kiddy, you know. M mess with my hard-boiled image. <laughs> What's with the silence, Mr. Edward? I. Is the world starting to go mad? Or am I crazy? Oh, hey, look, it's a ladder. The main game must be just over that stone wall. Ah, stone walls. I jumped over a few of those in my time. Most of them are good memories, but not all. <laughs> Detective, perhaps someone, someone should introduce you to the concept of plot of a paucity, paucity, paucity of words. I had never heard that word before, actually. Oh, there's your staff. What's this? Oh, the amethyst is missing. It looks like a wizard staff. Is Gan is Gandalf on this mountain? I belong to the victim, Miss Lee Stonem. There's nothing strange or magical about it. Oh yeah, listen, listen, this is just between us, okay, sir? Yes, what? Stop secret stuff, don't tell anyone about this. All right, what is it, gumshoe? Truth is, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, I'm killing you, I don't care anymore. Ah, that's it? That's what you want to tell me? Wow, that's five seconds of my life I've never gained back, gumshoe, I hope you're fucking happy now. Sorry, sir, I, I I thought you want, no, I would never want to know that. I don't want to know anything about you. I'm not your friend, I hate you. <laughs> That's it. This staff was made from a very strong kind of wood. What about, what about fingerprints, were there any on it? Just victims. Hmm, okay. But the amethyst is missing. So the sword from this gold statue is actually the murder weapon, ooh. Sure is. It's called a sushito, by the way. Nice piece of work, sir. Oh man, so that went all the way through, even the the jagged part. Oh man, there's still blood on it. I suppose it's the victim's blood. Yep, it's all over the blade. 
And speaking of all over the blade, there are fingerprints all over the hilt of the Shishido, too. Fingerprints? Naturally, match. The prints we got from the younger nun, the defendant. Well, it's like, well, it, if it were, if she had a twin, like if she really, if she really had a twin sister or something, then wouldn't she, they would have identical fingerprints, wouldn't they? I, I think, right? Identical twins have identical fingerprints, don't they? I, I, I think. I don't, I don't really know for sure, but. Her fingerprints are on the murder weapon. Well, fuck. What's wrong? You're looking real solemn. Is this how it is for right? This is what it's like to be a defense lawyer. Wow, his job sucks. I love roasting people way more than this. Yeah, I figure it doesn't feel really good. To be honest, it feels more like it's detrimental to your health. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna die after this. The man on the hall, uh, hall of Hansiger Temple is above us here. Hey, you're right. But I'm pretty sure the main hall didn't have a second floor. Hansiger Temple was built on a steep part of the mountain. The front and back of the main hall are on different levels. Oh, that makes sense. But wouldn't it be easier just to build the place slanted, sir? I fail to see how you can consider that to be an even remotely good idea. <laughs> I should be an architect, sir. No, you really shouldn't. Uh, okay, I think that's everything here. Well, 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 that's the a demon warning hood. Acolytes are highly susceptible to possession by evil spirits, you know. That's why we always wear these for protection. Oh. 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 That might be it then. Could it be that then this chick was possessed? This chick, if this, assuming this chick is not actually Dahlia, then maybe she was possessed by an evil spirit or something? Would the evil spirit then be Dahlia? Or would it be like the other sister that died or something? I don't know, but that, could that be it maybe? I mean, why, why, I mean, why else then would they bring it up here, of course, you know? Because right when she gave away her, her demon protecting hood, to Phoenix, this happens, and she looks like she ended up murdering somebody. Hmm. Oh, I see. What are you waiting for? You won't get any protection with my holding it, you know. Put it on already! No! I can't! I I was just... Oh! Ah! 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 He actually put it on! <laughs> Fine! Damn it! I was like, it was just made for you, Mr. Edward. What do you mean by that, detective? Ah, uh, you look like a you look like a beautiful little girl, a little princess. It looks absolutely marvelous. You just got to keep it on for a while. This is some sort of divine retribution. Oh God, I'm gonna kill somebody here. Okay. Uh, am I done here then? Oh, back to the ski thing. Hmm. I don't see Larry anywhere. Thank God. May we scare the poor kid away? His heart was shut tight with a psycho lock. Psycho, psycho lock. I guess I'll have to look for him now. What a thorn in my balls. Thorn right in my balls. Hey, I'm gonna look at this thing. I suppose this type of thing is necessary up here in the mountains. Say, this just gave me a great idea. Sang tells me he's going to tell me what's on his mind, whether I like it or not. I got an idea for a brand new invention. It might even make me rich. An invention? Yeah, a car that can travel on snow. I call it a snow car. So what do you think, sir? Would you go for a ride on a sign like that? Only after you take the first thousand test rides. Okay, I'll do it, sir. For you! Hey, it's a public phone. You don't see a lot of these anymore. That's true. So we got one one here. Why don't we take Why don't we take a photo as a memento? <laughs> well, um, sure. Why not? <laughs> oh, darn it. I don't have a camera with me. I gotta go buy a disposable camera. I'll be right back. Sir, please. Wait for me. What's so special about public phones and why is he so fascinated by them? <laughs> Please wait! <laughs> it's a little shack. Shack down that way called Heavenly Hall. Called Heavenly Host Elementary School. Uh-oh. A shack. It's like a rundown doghouse for loose. I can't bear the freezing drafts of wind. Kind of reminds me of uh, my apartment, sir. The name Heavenly Hall makes it sound like a palace. Give me, give me a hovel a great name is a crime itself. I call it false advertising. By the way, the name of my apartment complex is Compton Crack Castles. That's not such a great name if you ask me. Well, it's not such a great apartment either, sir. <laughs> February 8th, in the center. Oh. Ah, uh, uh, Mr. Edgeworth. I came back because I need to ask you a few more questions, if you don't mind. But I, I've already told you everything that I... Iris, please remember, 
I'm on your side. You can tell me anything. Yes, thank you. I just finished speaking with this he the head nun of Hazakura Temple. She testified very clearly as to what happened. She said that she saw you stab Miss Lee Student with a sword. And one other thing. She said that, that when Maya Fey began her training at the Inner Temple, you were there as well. What? When I spoke with you last, you claimed that you never went to the Inner Temple. And yet, Sister Bikini says she met with you at the Inner Temple that very night. B but I, I... I didn't go there. I didn't go to the Inner Temple last night. Hmm. Looks like she's done willing to tell me the whole truth. I wonder if I'll find the answers I'm looking for if I break the psycho locks. Psycho lock! That's that's called a demon morning hood. I, I gave that to Mr. Red last night. He was wearing this when I saw him at the hospital today. It's an important item for protecting acolytes from evil spirits. I don't know why it wouldn't occur to her then that she was possessed, possibly possessed by an evil spirit. Since she seems to know so much about it. If it's so important, then why did you give it to him? Last night, I felt... Something. I felt that something terrible was about to happen. I, I didn't want Mr. Wright to fall into its grip. Well, he wound up falling to something much deeper and colder. I probably shouldn't say that out loud, though. Thank God for my inner mo for <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for inner monologues. <laughs> Gumps, you can learn a thing or two from me. All right. So all I gotta do is chuck the stone at you, right? T take this! <laughs> ah, hey, that was my voice. <laughs> He's telling you to sound sort of British. You did. Take, that. take that. Take that, good sir. All right. Since, I, since I've been handed this case, it's my duty to dig up all the answers. Under, understand? Yes, sir. The smallest flame can sometimes bathe the case in a whole new light. In my ears in court, I've had, I've seen happen over and over again, and that's why I'm com committed to searching until I have those answers. Now then, is it really true that you didn't go to the Inner Temple last night? Yes, I swear. I already told you that. Yes, you said you didn't go because you were frightened. Th that's right. If that's the case, then the obvious question is, what were you so afraid of? Iris, I wonder, is this is this what frightened you so much that you couldn't even leave your own room? <laughs> this horrible picture of this bikini lady. Oh, yes, it scared the crap out of me. Oh, because of the weather here? Lang struck Jesse Bridge at around 30, uh, 30 minutes. Take that. Nope. Take that! Okay, I guess I don't have the answer yet. I still don't have enough information. Balls. Where else am I supposed to go? Uh, so, there's something I must have missed. Maybe she could tell me something about her. Oh! How could such a terrible thing have happened? It's all. It's all. It's all my fault. Well, come on, lady. I don't think you need to take all the blame yourself. Quaid, what do you do anyway? <laughs> no, ow, ow, you're scary. Ah, I was trying to make you feel better, you jerk. With that stupid five o'clock shadow and that stupid little cold of yours. Oh, how you being me? Why are you being so mean to me? Ah, it's too bad that you weren't the one that disappeared. Oh, that was horrible. That's so mean. Why did she say that? Why does she have to take it all out on me? Her anger does seem a little manufactured. So it represents the multiple branches of life can take all ending as one. Hmm, I've never heard that one. You know what I think about sometimes? What kind of what kind of life would I have if I hadn't joined the homicide division? So you think about that kind of thing too, huh? Of course I do, I think about it a lot. Me as a traffic cop, me as a detention center officer, <laughs> that guy in the back that doesn't breathe, me as, <laughs> me as the blue badger. <laughs> I guess he doesn't have any plans to leave the force. <laughs> I become the blue badger. Your face is more drawn out than the last time I saw you over a year ago. <laughs> really? I thought so. No, wait. It's not so much drawn out as weary and tired or maybe just plain old thin. I thought that too, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I've been kind of low on the low end. So yeah, my food options have been kind of non-existent. Off-brand chicken soup, off-brand spaghetti, off-brand bread, that sort of stuff. Off-brand, off-brand dirt. I thought you were really into instant noodles last year. I got really sick of the stuff after a while, sir. I feel like I've seen this girl somewhere before. She wasn't from a prior case, was she? Nope, can't be. We did a database search for their fingerprints and came up with nothing. I see. I just can't shake this nagging feeling in my testicles. Well, everyone knows that you are quite popular with the lady, sir. Maybe she's an old girlfriend that you sent to the dumpsville when you were younger. D detective, where did you hear such nonsense from? I didn't hear from anyone. Just sort of how I imagine you'd be. <laughs> do, do I really inspire this sort of frothing desire from the female masses? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Edward! It's Edward! Oh my god! Of course you do! You're Edward, for God's sakes! 
Uh, what are you? What am I talking about? Of course I, I do. What the balls am I doing? Where do I? It says what right has to go through all the time. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck he's supposed to do next. Maybe if I examine this big bowl of rice. Oh, it's a warm cat box. Where are all the cats? It's called a hibachi. It's for t it's for heating the room. Oh, look at all these ancient straw frisbees. Those are those are a, a type of zab a zabu zabutan. Cushion's called Enza. Why are you giving me such a hard time? I'm sure I'm worth. Why? Why? What did I ever do to you? Because learning something new might actually be a good thing for you, detective. You can stop being a doodle all the time. There are more ends and cushions in the corner of the room. Oh my god, I found something! Oh! Oh my god! Is th this is what I was looking for, apparently. This little white thing in the back! Fuck you, game! Why did they put it in this room? Couldn't they put it out in the fucking snow where, I, I don't know, where I was invest- I wasn't expecting that. I, I didn't think I'd have to investigate, like, go around and click randomly around this fucking room until I found something. Ugh! What is this white piece of stick of paper sticking out from under that stack? Oh, beats me. Would you mind checking that for me, Detective Gumshoe? Uh, yes, sir. If, if it's poisonous, I want you to be the first to die. There you are, Mr. Edward. It looks like an old manila folder. Ah! What is it, Detective? Th th this? This could be it. An ultra important clue, your super uh, special clue. I suppose I should read myself then. Looks like a letter addressed to Sister Iris. Tonight at 10, at 10 o'clock at Heavenly Hall, so unless you want your secret to be exposed. It sounds like a blackmail letter. There we go. Nice going there, Mr. Edward. I can never find clues like that. You're an ultra important clue. You're an ultra important prosecutor, super duper prosecutor. Well, I suppose it takes a super duper kind of dumb to miss a clue like this. <laughs> yes, I'm talking directly to you, Nico. Shut up, Edward. Shut up. Fuck you. Why did it take you like 45 minutes to find this thing? Because I don't know. I wasn't. I was thought I was just gonna come in this room and talk to this chick. I have to fucking examine this whole fucking room for clues, and that didn't stick out to me. It didn't stick out. I thought it looked like it was just another fucking decoration in this place. God dang doodly. I spent so much time trying to figure out what to do. Maybe she dropped it. Duh, duh, duh. Citation. Should I have a citation here? This is. So I want to talk to you about waiting for you at tonight at uh, 10 o'clock in the house. Make sure you come unless you want your cigarette mix. But okay, this is the thing that I need to present to Iris. Okay. Finally found the thing that I needed to find to do the thing that needed to be done. Okay, finally. This. Take that. Take that. I found this in the main hall. It was addressed to you. Uh, the vets. Well, Iris? Why? Why are you glaring at me like that? You were scared of the blackmailer who wrote this to you. Isn't that correct? Ah! <laughs> no! Was the evidence or the, the power of my glare that broke that lock? <laughs> mm. uh, Edgeworth glare. Power! Boom! Oh, well, I, I don't suppose it matters either way. But, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes? I, I thought that letter was just someone playing a prank on me. A prank? Yes. After all, even if I did have a secret, there's no one to tell it to that would cause me any grief. Hmm. I wonder about that. Sister Bikini is like a mother to me. I would never had any. Would never had anything from her. No, you may not have anything to hide under under normal circumstances. However, last night was different. Unfortunately, I don't. I don't know the exact nature of your secret yet. However, whatever it is, there is one person you didn't want your secret told to. Phoenix! Take that. Phoenix Wright! Ah. You mean you meant you mean something to write, it seems. And I can tell he holds a special place in your heart as well. And that's why you didn't want him of all people to know your deep, dark, evil demon secret. Well, what do you have to say? I should have expected as much. Especially from a friend of his. Boom! And now Claire Power breaks it! And now back to staring at things! I knew staring powers would work. Alright, what were you frightened of, you doodle? After dinner, this letter was waiting for me in my room. As I said, I was frightened by it. What is this heavenly hall the letter mentions? It's a small mountain shack at the base of Dusky Bridge. A small shack, huh? Where a bunch of elementary school kids were murdered! Oh, that sounds, that sounds like a sequel! It's more like a broken down shack that no one would ever want to go near. Hmm. Where is it on this map? Hey, it's just me or- Oh, that's right, the bridge is gone. I was like, one of the rungs on the bridge is missing. You can actually see it now. 
It's around, it's around here. To get there, you must follow a small path down from the dusky bridge. The reality is, to get there to the inner temple, I had no choice but to cross that bridge. But the thought that such a terrible criminal could be lurking at Heavenly Hall... At Heavenly Hall... I... I was so scared by the whole affair that I didn't want to think about it at all. So this is a secret that you locked away in your heart? Yes. Looks as though I may have to visit this Heavenly Hall now. Maybe I'll find some some sign of our mystery blackmailer. In any case, you still claim you have never left your room last night. Yes, that's exactly right. You're full of shit. The trial starts tomorrow. I promise you I will win, because I am Edgeworth and I am awesome. I'm going to win so you and Phoenix can easy each other again. But when I do, you must promise me that you will tell him your secret. But it's pointless. Why would you say that? Because I may know who Phoenix Wright is, but... He has no idea who I am. Uh, so many mysteries surrounding this shit. What is going on? I am confused now, gumshoes with me. Hey, how's it going? Get away from me. To Heavenly Host Elementary School. Oh, God almighty, why? Hey, dudes, make sure of me and my lover. February 8th, Heavenly Hall. This is probably where Larry is hiding. Well, not much of, not much of you down here, huh? Still better than the view from my apartment, though. T Tis, someone's here. Hide yourself, hide yourself, detective. Go. What? I watch. Oh, why, 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 why does this always happen? <laughs> I say with my weird expression that freaks Nico out. Whenever I find a girl I like, they always run away. I say, I also say out loud. I even chased one of them to Tibet. Next is going to be prison, I guess. I'll steal that detective. What? Detective what? Stood. I'll steal that ticket's wallet, that'll get me locked up for sure. Uh, I can't do that to someone who looks like he's going down his luck. <laughs> he just talked to himself like a weirdo. Shush! Be quiet and listen. Larry saying stupid things. Hmm, dude. I knew it. I should have done that. I should have done that. I blew it again, dude. Done that. What did he do, I wonder? What did you do, Larry? Hey, you! By what you just said, I got an objection. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, my theme is going on, yeah! Whoa, 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 what the hell? Oh, uh, Edgy, you dirty rat! Glare, glare! Come shoot, you fucking dumb fuck! I'm sorry, sir, I just got so excited! For I knew it, I was shouting, Objection! I always wanted to do that! And in a loud, commanding voice, too. I even pointed with, I even pointed with my pointer finger, and I wanted to find it just so I could slam it! You watched too many trials, damn it! Damn it, right! I'm sorry. Okay, Larry, the jig is up. <laughs> that, that jig is up, pal. What have you got to say for yourself? Huh? You're gonna tell me what you know or no. What is this little shack anyway? Well, I discovered it missed myself yesterday. <laughs> and why were you down here in the first place? Oh, come on, I'm an artist. I was looking for a good place to sketch. Hey, this is a great little place. It's uh, artistic. It's quiet, it's cold, it's got a power, it looks like it's about to collapse. Sounds like a lot like my apartment in there, pal. One well, thing's for sure, no one is like no one is likely to show up and disturb you here. Nah, so can I get get you something to drink? Small water, baby! He's getting all buddy buddy on us, sir. It's not gonna work. Not a chance! Listen to me, Angie! I've gotta do this! You gotta save Iris! Why are you so sure she's innocent? Because she's cute and you want to bone her. Watch your mouth, dude! Anyway, I made up my mind about it. I'm gonna marry that girl! Uh, um. It's rather worse pretending he didn't hear you, so I'm gonna ask for him. Have you already asked this girl to marry you? No, 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 not yet, dude. But I can tell how she feels by the look in her eyes. She totally thinks I'm weird, dude. But eventually she'll love me. She got this, I really want this man to carry me over the threshold, look. I'm sure, I'm sure Nick would be, would be surprised. He never imagined that I could marry such a beautiful girl like that. Slang tells me he would be shocked indeed. So shocked that he would fucking kill you. Why do you have all these, Amer uh, why does he have all these natural flags hanging out there? I see America. And Japan. And everything, Spain, everybody's here. That's why I didn't want to do anything dangerous. I mean, what am I gonna do if she gets hurt? I mean, what the hell can I do? What is this guy trying to say? He lost me about a mile, about a mile back. Hmm, if I really, we really want to know the answer to that. We're going to have to drag him off into the witness stand and murder him. Come to think of it, you still haven't answered my question. Where were you, what were you doing last night? 
Oh man! Don't you ever have anything else to talk about? With that kind of attitude, you're never being a lazy man like me, dude! Okay, okay! Chill out with those eyes, scary eyes! I got it! If you really want to know! Last night, I saw something incredible! Something incredible? I saw boobs, dude! Oh, you're stupid. Yeah, yeah, but let's not talk about that now. Let's talk about the good old days. What do you say? Come on, I'll pour you a nice cup of hot cup of hot water. Why well, hasn't he realized that I absolutely despise talking about the good old days, especially with him? <laughs> they weren't good days for me. You were a fucking douche to everybody. Nobody liked you, dude. Oh, you're so funny, dude. Hey, look, it's a picture of Larry. That's a horrible creep problem you got there, pal. <laughs> You don't know anything, Detective, this is art! This expression of my bittersweet love for Iris! Larry, do you know what the difference between graffiti and true art is? Mm. It's how the artist himself defines it, right? I should've seen that one coming. <laughs> well, that's the case, then all my lunchboxes are past me, stupid! Ah! What in the fuck is up with these flags? What is this festive-looking ornament? It reminds me of our class in grade school. We used to have a lot of fun decorating the classroom with origami, remember? Well, I... Oh yeah, you were never any good at it. Really? Yeah, this guy was so bad, he couldn't even fold a dollar, let alone a crane. Everybody tried to comfort him, but he would just sit there and sobbing. He was like, ah! Who, uh, who, uh... Really? I never would have expected that. Be quiet already. I'll never forget the shame of that day. You want a crane? I can make... I can now make a perfect quarter-inch cream without a single flaw. You know, Edgy, nothing for nothing, but a quarter-inch cream without a single flaw is not easy. Yeah, that's, that's quite a feat, Roscoe Edward. <laughs> Grr, this is exactly why I hate childhood friends. Fuck all of you. I hate everything. God dang doodly. God dang doodly. Oh, my dusky bridge. It's pretty long, but easy walk. I learned, fell out four times on the way down here, sir. And I don't care. <laughs> uh, I ain't four bananas to toss their peels on the stairs on my way down here. What? That's what I was slipping on. Be careful all the way back. Those deadly banana peels are still out there, dude. Mm, that's a real important piece of information right there, Mr. Edward. God, uh, why do I hang out with these guys? Take that. Take that. In your face, Larry. In your face, Larry, Terry, Harry. Very butts. Night to the crime. All right, now you're now you're gonna tell me what you really saw last night. Oh, you're really upset, aren't you, Angie? Okay, I'll talk. Huh? That was a bit too easy. Yeah. Anyway, it was awesome. Never seen anything like it. At around ten o'clock last night, it started thundering, and I'd seen it, been sleeping. I'm not sure for how long. Suddenly, zang, baby, and the world in front of me went white. I like I just been slapped in the face by my old girlfriend Naomi. And then. And then, it was on fire, the bridge was on fire! Dusky Bridge caught on fire, are you saying you saw with your own stupid eyes? Hey, why are you giving me an evil eye? I'm telling you the truth! Hmm, there's still three Psycho Locks remaining. Damn Psycho Locks, that means he's still trying to hide something because he's a little fucker. By the way, Larry, where were you when you saw that happen? Oh, wait, 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 what do you say? What, 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 what do you mean? What, what, what do you mean, what do I mean? Just answer the fucking question, you stupid idiot! Who's in my room by the main hall? Where else would I be? As usual. As usual, you're as, you're as, as transparent as an empty jelly jar. That was beautiful, man. The problem, I suspect, lies there. Th 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 there? What, 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 what do you mean in there? It's impossible for you to have seen lightning strike Dusky Dusky Lightning strike Dusky Bridge from your room. Because I guess not in the From the angle. Oh, because there's a big fucking cliff in the way, right? This is a map of the area. Take a look around the vicinity of Hazakura Temple. You see that thing? That's a cliff. Ooh, what am I looking for? I think the thing is should be fairly obvious. The main hall is surrounded by trees and it's impossible to see the bridge from here. What? How are you telling me that before, dude? Uh, boom. Well, how about it? How about what? Do you feel like talking now before I, before I kill you? How about what? It looks like it won't be that easy after all. You leave me no choice. Edgeworth Powers, go! Go, go, Edgeworth Rangers! Do, 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 do. Go, go, Edgeworth Rangers! Wearing next cars, Edgeworth Rangers! You leave me no choice. I have to move on to the next step. 
You weren't in your room at that temple, so then, where were you? He don't know that I wasn't in my room, dude. So where was Larry and why was he there? If I've read the situation up to this point correctly, the answer's fairly obvious. Very well then, let's test my theory. You were probably stalking what's her face. And beating off in heaven in your little cabin. The place where you witnessed Lang strike Dusky Bridge was from here! Hey look, hey look, it's a picture of me! I'm in black and white, I guess from here. What you saw the lightning strike was? Naturally Heavenly Hall! Why would I be hanging on this old shack? It's freezing cold, there's no electricity, and it can fall apart any minute! Larry, how do you know that anyway? How do you know there's no electricity? After all, it's not that dark yet. Oh no! Scared he is! In other words, you have just provided evidence to prove my theory. My theory is that you've at least, you've at least once in your life visited Heavenly Hall after sunset. You live here! I have to be, I'm impressed, Angie. You're in a totally different league from Dick. Oh my god! <laughs> That's nice, cool. I'm better than him. Now tell me, what were you doing at this cold little shack last night? You and your phoenix in back like, bullshit, I do this stuff all the time. That's what you might call a fair, a fair decor. I think you mean a fair decor. Could it be you were waiting for someone? Oh no, dude. Oh, is it him that wrote the blackmail letter then? Remember there, what scary guy you know? I believe the last night you were waiting for this person to come meet you. Yes. Of course. Iris, it was you. So like, what person are you waiting for in a horrible place like this, Larry? Aside from the Grim Reaper coming for you. I told you before, don't call me Larry. The person you were waiting for was Iris. Oh, suddenly I feel cold all over at you, please. No doubt because of my chilly glare down to your balls. So you, so you think I got the hot for us, Travers, huh? Do you have got evidence? You've been saying it every... Every chance you get. You got something that proves I was waiting for her? Or are you just guessing? This is where I draw the line and end this ridiculous game little game. Here's Evans that you were waiting for Iris. No! Take that. Here's your evidence. You called her to the spot with a pathetic blackmail letter. Oh, hey! Get, 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 get this back from your embarrassment, dude! What are you doing with that anyway? It's not important. I misjudge you, Larry. You're even worse than shit. You're shitty shit. What do you mean? Take advantage of a woman's frailty like that. You should be ashamed of yourself. Huh? Huh? First of all, what's this the, the top of the letter? It's a salutation here. Well, that's what I said in that book. Le letter writing for dummies. <laughs> you're not supposed to actually write that, you dumb fuck. That's where you're supposed to write, Dear Iris. What? I'm so sorry. Boo! Now, glare powers! Break the psycho lock! God, you're stupid freaking as hell, Larry. So you were here in Heavenly Host Hall last- I mean, <laughs> Heavenly, Heavenly Hall last night, were, were you not, Larry? And you saw the lightning hit Dusky Bridge, didn't you? Sorry, Edgy! Sorry, I got it, you scumbag, threading along a lane like that. I'm gonna fucking send you to jail! Oh, please do, please, I never wanna see him again. Gulp! Gulp and a gulp! Wait, hold up! What now, pal? What are you talking about with threatening stuff? I'll tell you what, you try try to scare Irish by threatening to swizz her seer, pal. What do you mean threatened? When did I threaten her? Unless you want your secret to be exposed. That sounds like a threat to me, pal. Blackmail fact. Give me a break, it's a love letter. Haven't you ever been in love? What? What What, what did you say? My love for her burns so highly it could melt all the snow on this mountain. Uh, oh, then what is this secret you mentioned? Come on, Eddie. Don't you get it? I'm talking about the secret love between her and me. Obviously, she wouldn't want the old lady bikini to know about it, right? About our hot and sour, sweet, sexy, butt naked, bittersweet love affair. All right, when, then why did you send a love letter in a business like Manila Envelope? Because I'm stupid, dude. Give me a break so my phone didn't have any other love envelopes. Sheesh. Then why were you so quick to apologize, pal? Cause Edgy can be, it'd be that scary look of his. What's wrong, Edgy? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? That, that's it. That's all those huge locks were about. God dang it! I'm killing him. I'm gonna help you too. I'm gonna help you too. Me too. I wanna help kill him too. Yes, I'm here too. Oh yes, I'm gonna murder him too. Uh yes, let me kill him as well. Oh yes, I'm going to fucking kill this Larry guy. Everybody get him! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Yes, he's dead. The bot is dead. 
I don't understand why you are so defensive. Well, I don't know either. I guess the thing is, you shouldn't expect too much from a guy like me, dude. Hey, come on, I'll let it get to you down. But Mr. Howard, this guy's still hiding something, I know it. What do you mean, detective? Or what do you mean, what do you mean, detective? Don't worry when this guy said just some, this guy said just a minute ago. If you want to know, last night, I saw something incredible. Hmm, he's right. By the way, I thought the lighting was the incredible thing. Larry! Why are you looking at me like a hungry dog that just found a bone? What was that something incredible you saw last night? You're gonna tell me, Larry, one way or another, or I will break you. I will break you! I already told you, didn't I? I saw a lightning strike at Oscar Bridge! Yes, and I believe it was the incredible sight you saw. But now that I think about it, something doesn't quite ring true. Why does it? That's all there is to your story. Your heart wouldn't have had all those locks. Yes, Larry. I believe you saw something last night. Something more incredible than lightning. Whoa, 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 when, where, why, who, what, how? Hey, what do you think? What do you think you're doing? Yep. Got anything for Mr. Howard? I'll rest you on the spot, pal! Ha! Ha! Oh my god, what? What the fuck? <laughs> no! Not this shit again! <laughs> Get unlock three of them, five more pop up! This is horse shit! Fuck this game! No! Edgeworth mad! Edgeworth smash! What's wrong, sir? Does this mean I have to do it all over again? Why are you claiming like that I'm next to me hit by a bolt of lightning? I just haven't had it with this Harlequin. If I really want to drag this truth out of him, I'll just have to drag him to the witness stand. Fuck this. Ah, are you serious? It just ends it there? I <laughs> like it's just like <laughs> That was Edgeworth rage quitting the game. <laughs> He's like, you know, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm not doing any more of these psycho locks. But dude, it's the only way to progress it. I don't care. I don't fucking care. I don't care, Ed Edgeworth. I'm ending this game. No, 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 no. To be continued. <laughs> His power just gets cut off. Did my DS just die? What just happened? The hell? It won't turn back on. The game is... Oh my god. The game is fucking on fire. Ah! Ah! Edgeworth, self-destruction activated. Go! Oh my god. All right. Looks like the trial begins next episode, and we'll maybe we'll start finding you some fucking answers. God, it took me so long to find that stupid note, though. Like, I don't know. I, I, ugh. I think it bothered me just because I, I didn't really give any indication that I had to look around that room, you know? Did it? I, I don't think it did. It's like, maybe I should look around and see if I can find any clues inside this building. That would have been a nice message to have. But, uh... Anyway, like, review, and enjoy. Subscribe now, become big and big, one of the SLP. Where the days are always sunny, the bits are always funny. Until next time, guys, stay classy.